What's up YouTube, it's Borat back at it again with another video. Today I'm going through the highly anticipated topic, the thing that everyone has been talking about, how to get recurring deposits of cryptocurrency on Gemini. First I'll show you how you can set up these recurring deposits into your Gemini account. And then for any of you that haven't seen the first video that I did on Gemini, we'll be talking about why Gemini is by far the best exchange you can use from a fee perspective to be buying and selling basically any cryptocurrency or any of the ones that are listed on Gemini at least. And then once you've implemented the strategy that we're gonna cover in this video about how to make recurring deposits. If you pair that with the previous Gemini video that I made about automating your purchases and then your transfers off exchange, you're going to have a fully automated deposit purchase transfer system. And so you're never really gonna to have to touch any of this again, which is really exciting. So go down below and smash the like button for crypto automation and let's level up your brain. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is download the Gemini mobile app, which most of the time is totally useless, but this time it's actually pretty helpful. So you're gonna download the Gemini mobile app and then you're just gonna open it up here. You'll go up to the person thing in the top right hand corner. That's gonna take you to the account screen here. And you'll see that when you hit deposit in Gemini and you hit USD and you hit bank ACH transfer, there is no method in the UI here for you to make any sort of recurring deposit into Gemini. And so up until now, that's led people to believe that it's actually totally impossible to make recurring deposits. But actually, if you guys just go into the market tab here and click on Gemini dollar GUSD, and then you click trade, and then you click buy, and then you hit recurring, you can set the frequency with which you'd like to deposit GUSD onto the platform. And they have any sort of frequency here. You could do it daily, you could do it weekly, you could do it twice monthly, or you could do it monthly. For myself, I've tested it both at a daily frequency and I've also tested it at a monthly frequency. Right now, I'm going to use a monthly frequency. You could do it bi-monthly if maybe you get two paychecks a month, or you could do it monthly if you just wanna do it all at once. And the Gemini app will tell you once you set a recurring purchase frequency at what time those deposits are going to clear every day or week or month or however often you set it up. I already have a recurring deposit set up, so I'm actually not going to create another one here, but I will show you the emails that I've gotten when my recurring deposits have gone through just to show you what sort of to expect once you do this for yourself. There's also no fee for buying GUSD in this way, and I'll put some more screenshots up on the screen just to give you guys some proof of that. Hopefully you can see the money leaving my checking account and then being delivered into my Gemini account and it's a like for like transaction. And so if at this point you're thinking, wow, that was really easy, why is the video so long? There are actually two big problems with receiving your recurring deposits in GUSD. The first big problem with GUSD is that if you look at the cryptocurrency trading pairs in the symbols and minimums page of the Gemini API documentation, you can see that GUSD only trades into Bitcoin and Ethereum, which means that if you wanna buy any other token that's listed on the Gemini exchange, you actually can't do that with GUSD. You have to have actual US dollars to make any of those trades. So for most people, that's not gonna be a big deal, right? Most people are only going to be buying Bitcoin and Ethereum but the second problem with using GUSD over US dollars is that the Bitcoin GUSD and the ETH GUSD markets are nowhere near as liquid as the Bitcoin USD market and the ETH USD market. Liquid is fancy finance bro talk for no one trades BTC GUSD, everyone trades BTC USD. And the problem that that creates is that you're not going to be getting accurate price execution on a BTC GUSD order you're gonna get much more accurate price execution and faster order fills on the BTC USD pairing. And so what would be ideal is if you could automatically transfer your GUSD that we just made a recurring deposit into Gemini over into USD. So that's what we're gonna be doing next in the video. If you're fine just trading in GUSD and you don't really care to trade in other cryptocurrency pairs and you don't care about the liquidity of GUSD versus USD, feel free to skip the next couple of sections and that's pretty much it. You've created the recurring deposits into your Gemini account. So if you want to skip to the end of the video, you can check out what my final thoughts on Gemini are and learn more about why Gemini is by far the best cryptocurrency exchange. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do here is come over to this Notion page that I've set up where I'm hosting all of the code for the Gemini API stuff. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download this new version of the Gemini layer.zip. If you've already implemented the buy and transfer functions from the previous video, you are going to still need to download this one and you can name it something different. You can name it like Gemini layer two or something, but you're gonna need this because there's a function that I wrote in here that we can go over in a second that was not included in the original Gemini API. And basically what that function does is it converts GUSD into USD. If you're skeptical about using the Gemini layer zip, you can generate your own using steps that I'll post down in the description. But for everyone else, we're gonna 
just come here and download this Gemini layer zip. So just click on it here and then I'll save that to the desktop as Gemini layer two demo. Next, we're gonna come over to our AWS management console. If you're new to AWS or you don't have an AWS account, I'll link a video that I did a couple weeks ago up in the cards. And that is basically gonna teach you everything you need to know about AWS and how we use it for these Gemini tutorials. Additionally, we go through the process of setting up an AWS account totally from scratch. And I was actually able to do it in like two or five minutes or something. It was super fast. So go ahead and check that video out if you are looking to learn more about AWS. So once you've done that, you're gonna click on all services here and you're going to look for Lambda. It's gonna be under compute and you can just do a control F and search for Lambda. We're gonna to go to layers over on the left here and then we're gonna create a new layer. And so we can call this Gemini demo YouTube two and we'll upload zip file and we'll just take the Gemini layer zip that we just downloaded from the Notion page. And then here I compiled all this code on an x86 Mac so we can just click x86. And then for compatible run times, you're gonna hit Python 3.8. And so if you hit create here, so successfully created. So we're good to go there. So next we're going to go up into functions on the left and we're going to create a new function. Author from scratch, we're gonna call this GUSD to USD Gemini demo. We're gonna change the runtime to Python 3.8. We're gonna leave the architecture at x86.64 and we're gonna hit create function. So here we are in our Lambda function. We're gonna scroll down and we're just gonna delete the code that's already here. And then we're gonna go back over to Notion and we're going to look for convert GUSD to USD for automating deposits. We're gonna highlight, should start with import JSON and it'll end with this curly brace down here. So we're gonna copy that and paste it over into AWS. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if you scroll down here, you're going to hit add a layer and you're gonna hit custom layers here in the middle and you're going to choose that layer that we just created with the layer.zip and you're gonna choose version one and then you're gonna hit add. Next, you're going to need a public key and a private key. So let's head back over to Gemini and we'll go to account and we'll go to settings. If you scroll down here on the left, you should see API programmatic access and you're gonna hit create API key. After you do two-factor authentication, you're gonna select the scope and you're gonna make it a primary. And then here you're going to get your key name and we can just call this GUSD to USD. And so then you'll have your API key, which is the public key. So we'll copy this. Come over here, paste it, and we'll put quotes around it. And then API secret, that's gonna be your private key. And we're gonna put quotes around this too. I'm gonna to put quotes just in this script right here so you won't have to put quotes. You'll just paste it right into the quotes. So there's our public key and our private key. We pasted it into our Lambda function and we're gonna give it the fund management and the trading permission. And we're not going to require session heartbeat we're going to acknowledge that we've copied and pasted our API in secret into a safe place over in AWS. And then we're going to hit create API key. If you ever lost these API keys for some reason, or if it's saying that it doesn't recognize your API keys, you can always regenerate new ones just by following those same steps and clicking create API key and going through that whole thing again just making sure that all those settings are the same way we filled them out basically. You're just gonna wanna end up with a public key that's put here and a private key that's put here. First, let's hit deploy to put our changes up there. And so now basically what this is doing is it's saying we're converting our GUSD balance to a USD balance. So if we have a GUSD balance, find out what that balance is and then take that entire balance and sell that balance into US dollars. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. So over in Gemini, I have $100 of GUSD and I have about $370 of US dollars. And so if we go back to AWS and we hit test, call this demo and then hit create. If we hit test again, and then we go back over to Gemini, we'll see that the $100 of GUSD has been moved into USD. And so now I have about $470 of USD. If we go back to this Lambda function, I wrote some comments here to help you guys out. And you could do this with static amounts here instead of clicking on GUSD balance. But you could say, let's convert $100 and let's do a buy. So let's move our US dollars, use buy to convert USD to GUSD. So now if I hit deploy and I hit test, ooh, I'll get an error. So you have to make sure that this number is actually a string. So if we just put quotes around 100 and then we hit deploy and then we hit test and then we check over in Gemini, we'll see that we moved $100 from that USD into GUSD. And now if we come back and we just type in GUSD balance, this is how 
you know, you're going to want to have it because this is the use case that most people are going to use the script for, I think. So if you hit deploy here and then hit test, it's going to turn all of your GUSD balance up into USD. Oops. Make sure this is sell if you want to turn your GUSD into USD. So now let's hit deploy again and we'll hit test. And if we come over here, we should see it happen in real time. This GUSD should turn into USD and there it goes. Okay, so in the previous part of the video, we set up something that's going to take money from your bank account and turn it into GUSD in Gemini. Then we just wrote the script that says, if I see any GUSD, turn all of that into USD. And so now you should have full USD in your Gemini account and you shouldn't have any GUSD in your Gemini account. And when you set up that deposit from the mobile app of I'm buying this amount of GUSD every however often, you're gonna get an email that looks something like this. And it's gonna say time of order around blah, 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 UTC. And so on this one, in this example, I was depositing $20 a day and Gemini was telling me that that was gonna happen at around 4 a.m. UTC. And so what we can do with that information now is we can say, all right, this is happening at 4 UTC. I need to run my script that turns GUSD into USD a little bit after 4 UTC, maybe at 4.15 UTC or 4.10 UTC or 5 UTC or whatever time. And the way that we can do that is we're gonna go back to AWS, we're gonna to go to the home screen, back to all services, and we're gonna look at CloudWatch under management and governance. And then over on the left-hand side, under events, we're gonna click on rules, and then we're going to create a new rule, and we're going to set a schedule. And so what you can do here is you can write a cron expression, and I'll leave popular cron expressions down in the description. But for this one, this one will run every day, and the first two variables here are going to be the time. So if I set this to be uh, 15, and I set this to be, what was it, four? So this will now run at 4.15 GMT, or I could I could even do like 4.05. I would be hesitant to get it super close to what Gemini is quoting you here because you know you don't know how fast that deposit is really happening, but definitely play around with this. You can set this to be whatever time, as long as it's happening after that scheduled buy that you're receiving. And then you can add a target here of the function that we just wrote, GUSD to USD Gemini demo. And then you can hit configure details. You can name this GUSD. USD automation, and then you can create the rule. And so that's really all you have to do. You have that script now that is gonna take whatever incoming GUSD you have and convert that into USD. Now you're gonna be able to trade in any cryptocurrency pair that's available on Gemini, and you're gonna be getting a much more liquid order book instead of having to trade on the BTC GUSD versus just the normal BTC USD. So the reason that Gemini is the best exchange is that they have the lowest buy fee of any exchange or tied for the lowest buy fee, which is 0.1% on their maker orders through the API. But then what Gemini has that a lot of these other exchanges don't have is that Gemini's withdrawal fee is they give you 10 free withdrawals per month. If you compare that to withdrawal fees on Kraken and Binance, it's almost not worth using Kraken and Binance because their withdrawal fees are so high. And this is especially the case for people trading Ethereum and other ERC-20 20 derivative tokens where the gas fees are just astronomical, right? You've seen some of these screenshots of people paying more in gas fees for their Ethereum transactions than the actual amount that they're transacting. So Ethereum is super broken right now, which makes Gemini really the best place to buy it. But even if you're just looking to buy Bitcoin, you don't really wanna be paying those on-chain minor transaction fees if you don't have to. And so Gemini is gonna take care of that for you. And that's why the fee structure at Gemini is the best of any exchange, bar none. Some people might bring up that Strike and BlockFi and a lot of these other places claim to have zero fees, but in reality, they are charging you a market spread. And so the price that you're seeing when you execute a trade on BlockFi or on Strike is actually higher than the price that you would be paying on Gemini. I do believe that over the long term, Strike will probably actually get to zero fees, but as of now, whenever I trade on Strike, I'm still getting around a 0.2% fee, which is twice as high as Gemini. It is getting closer and closer and closer to zero fees. But right now, Gemini is the best place to be buying and selling any cryptocurrency that's offered on Gemini. I haven't seen a better place to buy cryptocurrency in the last six months since I put out that first Gemini video, and neither has anybody in the comments. No one has given me some exchange that somehow is better than Gemini. And on top of Gemini being the best exchange from a fee perspective, Gemini is also highly regulated and the ability to automate all this stuff with the API is insanely convenient. So if you guys thought this video was helpful, go down below and leave it a like so that YouTube can share this video with other people that are looking for the cheapest, best way to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Comment down below if you got stuck or if you have any questions about the strategy or anything that I said, I do still respond to all the comments. If I don't respond after a couple days, definitely check back on YouTube. YouTube has 
been like arbitrarily removing people's comments. And so if that does happen, or if you need extra help debugging your code, feel free to DM me on Twitter at Retri. Go watch the original Gemini video to set up the automated buys and automated transfers. If you haven't done that already, I'll link that up in the cards up here. And then subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I love you all. Goodbye.